Is Christianity obsolete? Is it over? Is it dead? I hope not. <laughs> I've always found Christianity being very inspirational to my work, to my life, and um, I don't know, I mean, I haven't said the last word yet, but um, it looks like, you know, that's, that, that's the whole paradox of things, you know, that the Satan is probably the most Christian and Bible inspired record that I've ever put out, you know. So on one hand, it's, it's a catch-22, you know, it's like, well, we may, we may, you know, we go on stage and we, we play Christians to the Lions, which is a very radical, there's a radical message there. But then on the other hand, I'm like, please don't take away uh, one of the strongest inspirations there is, you know, from me, because what's next? <laughs> well, it's like, you know, I mean, people tend to do what society uh, want them to do, you know what I mean? And there is like some kind of scheme, some kind of uh, formula, a uh, Christian, like Catholic family formula, you know what I mean? Like, it's still said, I mean, like in statistics, I don't know, I'm guessing, but it's, I mean, Poland has always been like 95% Catholics, you know, I fucking doubt that, you know, but I think that it, it still says that, you know what I mean? So there's a, like, it's probably as many churches as pharmacies in Poland, you know, like every corner there's a church, but uh, they're getting more and more empty. That's how I see that, you know, and like teenagers, they don't, they hardly give a, a single fuck. I pretty much, you know, I drift, you know, and, uh, but there is some core, I would say, that um, is very, is very strong here. And when it comes to our, the behemoth's ethics and my life's ethics, and uh, the, this core is the fact that I've always felt uh, associated with uh, the outcast characters uh, of our culture, uh, named uh, Prometheus and Lucifer and, um, and Icarus and, and some more probably, and Satan too. So I come from a Western civilization where uh, Christianity was super strong, it's still super strong, so um, when I started my studies in when I was a teenager actually and I was very it was I was pretty young when I got interested by um, by these topics and I was really fascinated by it you know I just realized you know, that these like these characters are one of the most misunderstood characters in the this, uh, Western civilizations they are obviously they became scapegoats and I kept on uh, looking for beauty and wisdom and uh, power that's you know that's obviously there you know in their myths in their stories in their um, you know the, the values that they stand for and that brought us to the play to that place you know that you know that we simply find Satan being one of the most inspirational and most underrated um, archetypes of the Western civilization. That's it. There's these conversations and there's these interactions, the personal, you know, uh, interactions that you get with people that, that you sense that they are very uh, simple-minded and they are like very black and white and you know that uh, Satan is gonna be your best weapon the best tool to um, if they want to confront you and that's obvious I mean it happens to me every day well you know what I uh, uh, obviously I'm very much much attached to uh, this ideology but then on the other hand I'm like I'm I escape as much as I can, I escaped from people trying to define me this or that, you know what I mean? To me, life is not that simple, life is not black and white, you know, and if I'm Satanist, then I'm probably like, there's, I hope, at least billion of other descriptions of 
you know, of my identity and who I am. Because I don't, I mean, human being is just like a multi layered uh, uh, creature and it's, it's just so complex. And just, you know, putting this simple stamps, you know, on Satanist, anarchist, communist, like in, you know, on politician, sure. you know, I'm, it, it feels very limiting. So when question like that is being asked, I'm like, I just, mm, yeah, I'm like, yes, but there's more to it. <laughs> there's way more to it. I call it, I call it the religion of doubt. Agnostic. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I'm drawn by that very much. So just doubting. And um, I just heard, read this book of uh, Ruiz Safon, that's what his name is, I guess. And there was this beautiful sentence, you know, someone asked one of the characters, are you a religious person? And he said, well, if that could be a religion, then I'm a very religious person. And I loved it a lot. So. I'm just living my life the way I want, you know, and I'm being responsible, and uh, it's it's a very willful and, and an intelligent life, I hope. You know.